We've learned how to fly into the sun, the Lord's Prayer, how his word guides us on the lightning path to return to the Father. He is the way back to the Father. He is the door. He is Enoch's door. He is the way. He is the lightning path. He is the sapphire stone body. He is the truth, the word written on sapphire stones before the beginning of time. He's the light, that light that comes through when you remove what's not Christ. And that sapphire stone is glowing within you, Shekinah, because you've simply removed what's not him. His light is always shining. But when we're in darkness, it's because it's covered with what? The foreskin of the heart, the foreskin and membrane of the sapphire stone, which is your design created in the image of God is to make man in our image, mankind. But something blocks the light. Those are the lies uh, that we believe, things that have been taught through religion, upbringing, or things that you learn from being hurt. Right when there's a wound there, someone hurts you, or you get hurt somehow for, you know, maybe being in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know those things, and they creep their way in there. It's blocking up the light. And it mars the image of who God is, so that who you believe in your heart and your emotions of who he is doesn't really agree with the truth. Sometimes, uh, oftentimes, people aren't really aware. Right? In psychology, that's called cognitive dissonance, which means you say one thing, you believe, but then when it comes to your action, you mm -hmm. act on what you feel, it's different than what you say in the mind what you believe. So when the mind and the heart don't agree, that's cognitive dissonance. Okay? And totally. So uh, when, it, when it comes to cognitive dissonance, uh, even if you're just looking at the external forms, the shadows of this realm of just the external world, uh, there's two different kind of schools of thought when it comes to cognitive dissonance. How, does, uh, how do you deal with the tension? Cognitive dissonance causes tension within the body. It causes a lack of peace. Mm. And there are uh, two kind of different ways of thinking about going about rectifying that uh, pressure or that tension because if there's something that's believed in the mind or you say it you think it you believe that's what you you just dis your discourse your discussion but then in your feelings emotions your experience what you actually do how you actually feel whether you mask it or not that's what you actually believe in your heart that's why you believe on your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord so when that's different when those little things are different that's called cognitive dissonance it doesn't agree